So I thought I'll make a video about social anxiety because personally I did experience it myself in the past and I think quite a few people do. And it's a very interesting topic to consider because uh, you definitely have to consider your ego and your relationship with the world around you and other people. So to start off, the social anxiety, you know, first of all, a degree of it is natural. We have to understand this. Uh, being absolutely experiencing no tension or anxiety when in groups of people would pretty much mean that you're a sociopath or that you are just emotionally numb, which both of these cases are not really healthy cases to be, yeah, definitely. So we're not talking about being desensitized right here. However, for those of you who are experiencing this, you know, the, the fact that you can't really even relax or have fun in a environment with other people. Now that's a whole nother question. Now I personally experienced this myself when I was younger to uh, some degree. It wasn't really uh, crippling but uh, at moments it was and so I can completely relate with that feeling and you know it has been many years. Uh, for many years I tried to figure it out and uh, Right now, I can completely say that uh, it's not something that bothers me anymore. And, and the way that I overcame it was basically, of course, as always, uh, through know thyself, through self-knowledge that I overcame it. So I'm going to try to outline the basic idea of how you could overcome it as well. First of all, a thing that I seem to notice is that most of the social anxiety instances that happen to people are pretty much because they are either empathetic people, you know, they really sense the uh, quote-unquote energies of other people, or they have a sort of a lack of understanding of their own personal boundaries. So, in the first instance, we have to recognize, and you might be this kind of person who uh, gets impressions from other people very easily. So you might come into a room and you get, you know, some person is talking louder or being obnoxious or something like that. And because you're really uh, taking in the information from everyone, uh, it overwhelms you, quite simply. So there's a lot of people making a lot of noise and you get sim you simply get overwhelmed. So. One of the reasons is definitely a uh, too much input. Now, how, how do you deal with that? The first thing, the input part. And this is quite an external thing. We'll go into the internal uh, ideas on how to deal with that later on. But for now, try this. This is a very interesting thing that if you consciously decide to sort of a close yourself off, certain people or just close yourself off, you actually might receive the benefits uh, of not taking in every single energy in the room. And now this actually works, however, this only works if, you're, if you make a conscious and confident decision of closing off, especially from certain people, uh, because you made a conscious decision, this actually has a positive effect on you. However, uh, while this is really effective, it's only effective if your internal belief systems and internal boundaries are in place. So, having said that, what is it about certain boundaries that make you experience social anxiety and about others which don't make you experience that? In essence, a person who experiences social anxiety usually has some sort of belief systems that make him think that he might be, uh, that other people's opinions are uh, very important and detrimental to his well-being. Now we can definitely track the source of this from you know our tribal uh, uprising as a human species where we had to live in a close community and everyone's opinion basically mattered because you get shunned by your community, you're pretty much dead. So it's an instinct. 
However, in today's modern age, with the many, many people that we have, it's not really an effective strategy because, you, first of all, there's too many people to care about. And this is what I'm talking about. This is beliefs. If you consciously engage these beliefs and you realize that, you know, yes, I do feel that all of these people's opinions matter. But what do you base this assumption on? Why is it true that all of these people's opinions matter? Why not choose certain people whose opinions matter and sort of let the other people stay in another try, quote unquote, you know, uh, so that you wouldn't care about their uh, ideas and beliefs about you. So you have to understand if you are seeking to reduce your experience of social anxiety, you will have to come face to face with the fact that you actually care very much what other, what other people think. That when you go into some, you know, room and there's people out there, you really care what they think about you. Uh, now, the details of why you care and how that came into being and so on are very personal. So it's, it is absolutely, you know, a thing which you have to figure out and do some soul seeking to figure out yourself. But in essence, that is the key. And you have to realize that. So when you find these beliefs and you understand that for some reason you think that other people's opinions uh, really matter that much, that other people's opinions matter more than yours and other such beliefs, if you truly recognize them, you will reach a point when you will see, well, isn't that ridiculous? I mean, where is the truth in that? Why is that more truthful that other people's opinions don't matter to me? Now, this is the process of building up personal boundaries. And this is what distinguishes a person who can get overwhelmed by other people from a simple, you know, social anxiety feeling and a person who can go into a room and uh, just do what he does. So the difference between these two people is not some inherent uh, genetic luck or something that they have. It's simple that it's simply that one person when he enters the room, first of all, he might be consciously uh, rejecting being influenced by certain people, which is possible. And on the inside, he accepts himself for who he is and he has value and he knows that other people's opinions and glances or something like that will not influence his value. When you reach a point like that, social anxiety becomes pretty much non-existent. You will get a little tension maybe from, you know, occasionally or something like that, but it's no longer this controlling influence in your life. And that comes from mainly two things, from outwardly deciding what influences you let in and which you shut out, which you can do, uh, and a lot of us don't, by the way, we just kind of take everything as it goes. So that's the first thing that can really help you. And the second thing is work, start working with your beliefs of your personal boundaries of how much opinions of others do you let in yourself. And you'll come to the realization sooner or later, if you dig through this, that there's no really no point into letting in every single opinion of everyone because everyone isn't right and everyone doesn't matter to you personally. And if you let yourself be influenced by every single opinion, uh, you can't really be yourself. You're just this fragmented person, this leaf in the wind that is being blown uh, into all directions by every person, whether he has the credentials or not. So it's actually really careless to believe in the, that the opinions of others matter. Only certain people's opinions matter, and you should be very conscious about deciding which people do matter. So I hope this helps to you. Try out these two things. The first thing, especially the conscious decision to not let in influences is very practical and you should really try it out in uh, public scenarios. And the second one is more introspective and more work with yourself. And when you will develop a certain personality and a certain understanding that not every influence should be let in, your uh, social anxiety will automatically reduce. Because when you enter a room, you will not think, what does he think of me? What does she think of me? What are, are they laughing at me? Because they don't really matter. So who cares what they think? <laughs> Try it out. It really helped me and I hope it will help you.